art has been my way of escape, but also a spiritual practice. It was always something I did, and then I decided to go to college for it. I went to Azusa Pacific University where I got a bachelor's degree in fine art and illustration. And straight out of university I went into my MFA program and got a master's degree in fine art, concentrating in drawing. I got to end that program with a thesis solo show where I had to give a dissertation and a oral defense of my work and show. The show was based on endangered species and illustrating different areas of environmental degradation in California and then how that applies symbolically to human spirituality and also physically in the human world into conservation efforts. My work is a hybrid between surrealist art and biological illustration. Biological illustration is linked with a really rich history between artists like Darwin and Da Vinci. It's just kind of this call back to accurate art and really scientifically rich. So I kind of combine that with surrealist undertones, trying to make it more of a dreamscape piece. That way I'm able to incorporate my individual story within the narrative of the piece and also have it really scientifically and biologically accurate. And that elevates the piece for me. I love using micron pens because they give really amazing line quality. I love doing black and white India ink washes on top. It kind of softens the piece and creates a contrast and a depth that makes it really interesting. Most of my work is with the endangered species in our area. They all have sort of a dual purpose. So everything I create has a current issue or current event linked to it. And at the same time, it's also a symbol of whatever it is that I'm going through in my life. There's this movement called rewilding, which basically is journey back to the roots of what it is to be a human coexisting within nature instead of using nature and consuming nature to get what we want. And the first thing in my life would be art, and I feel like a lot of what it is to be human is rooted within the arts. So recently I've decided to pursue a journey living out of my van and driving up the coast of California, Oregon, and Washington all the way up to the border of Canada, illustrating the coastline and nature and also areas of environmental degradation, bringing awareness to different conservation efforts going on. It'll also align with the 100 year anniversary of our national parks. And then on the way back, I'm going to camp out of as many national forests and national parks as I can and illustrate what I see. By the end of the journey, I'm hoping to have enough drawings and material to create an illustrated book in celebration of our environment and how we can help to save it with a beautiful respect for nature and use that to help with different conservation efforts. I think whenever you jump in full time into your dreams, the doors fly open and things happen and the journey becomes real and it unfolds within itself.